Uh, hello everybody, I'm Alessandro and today I'm presenting you the, the evolutionary framework uh, for traffic light optimization that me and Professor uh, Giovanni Iacca designed. So uh, first we are going to, see, to introduce the main issues related to traffic and traffic lights uh, with an overview of the traditional approach uh, in light optimization and some more recent studies which inspired uh, our work. Then I'll explain how our framework works, starting from its evolutionary model, uh, analyzing its components and workflow, including the Sumo simulator that we used, as we will see later. After that, we'll see um, and comment uh, some of the experimental results that uh, we obtained and draw some conclusions. So let's start from these are some of the numerous causes of uh, traffic congestion. Noticeably, in urban areas where the population density is high, most of the people move uh, with private vehicles. The quantity of cars has been shown by some studies to be still growing, but uh, of course the road infrastructure capabilities uh, of expanding uh, is limited, especially where the problem is uh, worse, that is uh, in large cities. Public transport often uh, is limited too, and lacks uh, the commodities that uh, um, private vehicles uh, provide. Traffic, of course, have uh, many uh, unfavorable consequences. First of all, the CO2 emission and uh, most of all, safety. But uh, also uh, it has uh, some bad consequences in terms of um, time losses and management cost. <clears throat> uh, as a collateral, collateral um, consequence also, public transport, which uh, would be a, a good solution at least to alleviate what the traffic congestion problem is, also suffers from uh, delays, so it uh, is less of a good solution due to the same problem. In any urban scenario, there is uh, a common key element that is uh, traffic lights. They are, they are a distributed form of uh, traffic control and they can be used to exploit complex synergies of uh, traffic flow, being uh, uh, often responsible for uh, individual links and individual lanes um, within the road scenario. Uh, they also have an important role in managing uh, the human behavior uh, because they have to use uh, um, to have uh, tolerable timings uh, to bear with the patient of uh, the, the, the drivers. For all these reasons, uh, they must be tuned in a very sensible manner. Uh, uh, otherwise, the road equilibrium uh, may be compromised, uh, in particular when uh, the traffic is, uh, is, uh, is worse. So, the traditional traffic light optimization approach mostly uses queue-based methods built on a posteriori traffic statistics. Uh, these types are often um, deployed, this type of optimization are often deployed uh, in the physical traffic junction in order to test uh, their performance. Um, more, uh, which of course is not the best thing in many places. Recent studies have uh, also um, shown how single junction can be optimized in particular by um, means of evolutionary algorithm. However, this is uh, kind of limiting because uh, um, th this limits the, the research for interjunction synergies of, uh, traffic, of traffic. Uh, these last works uh, are what inspired uh, us to, 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 to do ours. Uh, because we also used an evolutionary approach, but uh, we applied on an entire map, so an entire set of junction on a specific scenario. So let's see how uh, our traffic uh, junction tuner uh, framework uh, models the optimization problem. Uh, the genotype re uh, represents a configuration of a given uh, uh, base scenario. So that's an individual that corresponds to a specific uh, map. It encloses information about uh, the type and timings of every junction. Uh, in fact, a population of these individuals is evolved by means of an SGA2. And uh, it's uh, by using as fitness uh, a multiple arbitrary combination, as we'll see later, of metrics uh, collected from uh, the simulation of the individuals themselves. We use uh, um, the Sumo simulator to, to benchmark these uh, individuals, um, gathering directly from it uh, the metrics that we use uh, as part of our fitness. Uh, the genome uh, represents, uh, as I said, uh, all the junction in the selected scenario. So it has uh, as many genes as the junction in it, specifying the, the type uh, of the junction and uh, the traffic light timings. 
um, as shown on the scheme on the right. Um, genes are subject uh, to mutation and crossover between uh, alleles, which uh, acts both on the corresponding uh, junction type and, ta and traffic light timings. For, in order to exploit uh, what uh, may be good in, uh, in one scenario uh, and in another, uh, and exploit the synergies between the, the combinations. For what concerns the initialization, uh, the first individuals uh, starts uh, all with uh, junction set to priority, which is a, the standard junction uh, where the, the highest priority road takes uh, the, the right of the way. Uh, all the characteristics uh, of an individual uh, are applied on a base scenario on the base scenario map, which uh, we took uh, for our uh, runs uh, from OpenStreetMap. So our model uh, makes uh, some uh, um, important simplification uh, in order to limit the search space. The only allowed type of, um, of traffic junction are standard priority and traffic light. All the other possible types, uh, for instance, roundabouts, uh, zip merge, are not considered and not allowed, and uh, they cannot uh, e and nothing can evolve into one of those. In the in fact, in, its, in the initialization problem, uh, in the initialization procedure, this problem is solved by conver um, converting each junction uh, of the original uh, scenario to um, the priority type. Traffic light timings uh, uh, are also the same for uh, the entire junction, which means that the uh, the edges incoming into the junction uh, are. Uh, are have the same, exactly the same time, the same time for the red, the yellow, and green phase, uh, which of course uh, is limiting as a more important uh, um, road may need some uh, more time than a less important one. The, also, another simplification is that uh, the green uh, light is acti activated only once, um, for, only for, for one edge at a time. Which means that, uh, for instance, in the classic four-way cross-shape uh, traffic junction, only one edge at a time would get the authorization to, to pass through the junction. Um, and uh, there, the, we cannot have uh, for instance, the symmetric green light, as you might expect. Reserved lines uh, are also not considered, which is, for instance, the um, the reserved right turn lane with the right turn uh, green uh, phase of the of the semaphore. Uh, we we don't consider that uh, due to the limitation of the the genome uh, and the way we encoded it. Finally, uh, there we have also some imperfection in the maps, uh, um, mainly due to the conversion between uh, from uh, OpenStreetMap format to the Sumo XML uh, format. Nevertheless, the results uh, are promising, uh, with, even in, with these modeling limitations. So the traffic junction tuner framework is composed by these four models. Uh, this is the core model, uh, which uh, orchestrates the evolution of the individuals and their deployment in form of simulation maps. The evolution is carried out by um, the evolutionary algorithm model, which implements the NSGA logic uh, based on the inspired Python library. Then the Sumo Tools uh, modules uh, interfacing with the simulator, um, generating the files needed by the simulator, uh, launching parallel batches of simulation, and querying the simulator for the information which are used for, um, for the fitness calculation, as we'll see in some slides. Um, last, we have the simulator itself. Uh, Stands in uh, Sumo, uh, if you were wondering, uh, stands for Simulator of, for Urban Mobility. Uh, it runs the prepared scenarios, um, which, uh, as I said, corresponds each uh, to a, each single individual. Sumo also provides uh, an interesting tool, which we used that uh, is used to generate synthetic traffic uh, on an arbitrary map um, at a given uh, uh, density, which is uh, treated as a, a, um, a quantity of uh, routes to generate uh, at each uh, second of a simulation. This means that uh, it generates uh, uh, routes of vehicles that have to a starting point, a, a path, and an, an arrival point. And they, they have to complete within the scenario in the given time. We generate this synthetic traffic to, for, the, for our, our benchmark. So we... Uh, um, we, we run Sumo as a standalone application, 
interfacing uh, with it via the Tracy API, tra traffic control interface. Um, the, the overall scheme, which is also in the paper, is this one on, on, the, the, on the right. Uh, we, we use Tracy to advance the simulation and collect the information that we need for the fitness. Um, we can also run it by, with a GUI uh, so that we can have a visual feedback of the evolution uh, performance. Uh, we also use uh, that, as I said, uh, the, the tool to generate uh, the root sets and uh, load uh, everything uh, together in Sumo um, to make multiple tests for uh, each individual with different root sets and different simulation seeds. Uh, for what concerns the, the fitness calculation, uh, so the information is gathered from the Trace API. For our purposes, uh, we used uh, just uh, the number of accidents that happened, the average speed of the vehicles in the scenario, the number of routes that completed, and the number of uh, traffic jams that uh, happened in the scenario. Uh, this is uh, um, extensible as the traffic uh, control interface uh, allows for uh, uh, many other queries, for instance, for emissions or fuel consumption, given that uh, our uh, uh, engine model of the vehicles that we introduce uh, is uh, correctly um, modeled. So, um, the actual objectives uh, are um, specified as a, uh, as a RPN, or the Spanish notation um, expressions between the tokens that represents the data point that we collect from the simulator. For instance, in the box, we can see that uh, these three objectives, uh, we have three objectives. The first uh, uh, is uh, um, uh, we want to maximize the, uh, the double of the, no of the number of, uh, uh, on the, of the average number of uh, completed routes. Uh, the average both on the um, different densities and the uh, uh, of the traffic density, different traffic density specified, and uh, the, um, the, the repetitions um, of, uh, with respect to the um, uh, several, multiple uh, routes uh, sets. So, and uh, we can uh, compose these uh, bit, uh, together. For instance, uh, H stands for the, 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 the worst, the highest. So if we want to minimize the highest number of uh, this expression between the number of accidents and the number of uh, traffic jams teleport to stands for traffic jams due to the way that uh, Sumo deals with it. Um, so um, we can uh, focus uh, the, the evolution on so specific uh, uh, weighted goals, uh, which may be uh, uh, correlated to the scenario, of course. So let's see some of the experimental results. Uh, of, our, of the runs we performed. We considered these two maps, uh, one of the Trento city center and uh, one of Milan city center. These are uh, quite different. Uh, Trento has a 998 junction. It's uh, a smaller area, but it's more dense and has uh, complex curves and, uh, and complex junctions. While Milan is a wider area with uh, more junctions, um, it's less dense, dense than, than Trento, but uh, it has mainly perpendicular roads and uh, links. So, um, the framework was configured to, in, in such a way to do three traffic densities for each, in, for each individual to uh, three simulation, um, several uh, simulations uh, for three traffic densities times five sets of synthetic routes times three simulator random seeds. Simulation lasts one hour in simulation time. And we run this with, uh, with some objectives that are uh, minimizing the average number of traffic jams and the worst number of accidents, the worst uh, number of accidents ever recorded, uh, while maximizing the number of vehicles um, that managed to, to arrive at their destination. So this is the matrix plot uh, of uh, one of the runs on Trento. We can see how it, uh, the Pareto front is represented uh, by, by these dots with uh, the, the diamonds with the red uh, border. Uh, we can see how in, within, in the generation um, what uh, sh should be maximized uh, goes uh, uh, as, uh, as, you, as one may expect. And in particular, we can see that uh, we managed to match, uh, to match the reference scenario. The reference scenario is uh, represented by the gray points. Um, is uh, uh, 
a set of um, runs of, of simulator runs performed on the original scenario map independently from uh, uh, the optimization problem, the, the optimization process. Uh, the fact that uh, we evolve, the evolving indi individuals managed to match this performance is uh, quite good actually because uh, the reference scenario does not suffer from all the simplification that we have uh, done for our model. So it has synchronized traffic lights, uh, uh, prior more priority between uh, roads and, uh, and more complex phases and also uh, different type of junctions. So, uh, and we, we also um, registered some improvement in uh, some metrics that were not uh, set as fitness, to be used as fitness. Um, but uh, we also noticed that uh, using uh, too many objectives, uh, slowing down uh, convergence, uh, achieved good results, but slightly worse than, than with less uh, uh, focused uh, objectives. These are the, some box plots of the uh, objectives uh, um, over each generation. Uh, we can see how also the, the variance uh, is uh, controlled and uh, the generation performs as expected and gets better as, as we want. So these are the other, uh, another run uh, on the Milan scenario. Uh, it is similar, uh, the result is are similar. Um, we observe an improvement over the generation, uh, but uh, uh, this case, the reference scenario is uh, even outperformed by the, uh, the last uh, the 10 generations. The evolution was uh, a bit slower, but it was expected due to the scale of the, the map. Here you can see the same bug plot as before. Uh, uh, the, the variance uh, can, um, can uh, use some in more improvement, maybe with some more generations, but uh, we see that uh, the results are anyway quite good. Oh, by the way, the, um, the plots, uh, both these and the previous ones, are normalized, so these values actually are, are scaled. The zero is actually zero, but uh, which is good because we reach a zero accident in most of the final, uh, well, not, not for the Milan scenario, but. Um, most of the final uh, train uh, scenarios. Uh, and so we can draw some conclusions. Uh, observing the experimental results, uh, we, can, we can say that both the train and Milan runs have been um, successful, both uh, for the complexity of the first uh, and uh, the scale of the second. Um, uh, having a more or less similar result between uh, the different runs on, on a specific map. Overall, the results are good, in particular, considering what, what uh, noticeable simplification that we made for uh, the traffic junction themselves. For what concerns the framework, uh, further improvement may be uh, adding more vehicle types, like trucks and buses with custom densities, and also uh, adding more intersection uh, types to the model in order to be more realistic, to have a more realistic behavior. Summing up, uh, we, we built this uh, traffic junction tuner framework integrating Sumo and NSGA2 with uh, a greatly customizable uh, objective definition. Uh, and um, it can be used uh, um, uh, for the specific uh, object, uh, objective of a specific scenario. Uh, uh, the results are over convincing uh, and we look forward uh, for road planners uh, and local administrators to, to make good use of this tool. So thanks uh, for your attention. Okay, thank you very much, Alessandro. Very nice presentation. Uh, do you, anybody else want, um, have a question? You can use the chat or raise your hand. Okay, anyone? Well, I, I have uh, one question. You mentioned that the fitness function uh, has uh, several ways to tune the, the decided uh, output of the, of the system. Uh, have you tried a different combination of weights or uh, something like that or no, uh, actually we 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 we, we use the um uh, we we thought about uh, weighting the 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 objective this way uh like using the the rpn itself to uh use a, a coefficient for each metric uh, um, to custom weight uh, the the objective mm -hmm. if i understood your question Okay, okay. Uh, and what about the execution time of the algorithm? 
Uh, actually, not that bad. It depends on the, on the quantity of, uh, of uh, vehicles mostly um, and on the precision that we want from Sumo, uh, the, the time step that we set, uh, the, the time uh, step that we set for each simulation step. But uh, we run this for, uh, it was like three days and I did more than one test uh, on the uh, on the small scenario, on the Trento scenario, while Milan took a bit more, but I don't recall if I ran uh, multiple tests at once. I think I did, so it, I didn't record this very well. Okay, and, uh, uh, even though the ma the machine we ran this was not uh, a very powerful machine, was not an, AP an HPC. Okay, okay, I see. Is this uh, whole system available for the Loara to, to play with it? Uh, it's uh, it's on the kit on the GitHub. I forgot to put the link. I'll, I'm gonna put it in chat. But well, uh, it's uh, already uh, in the paper. The GitHub. It's link? in the paper. Yes, ah, sure. That's, it's good. Paper. That's, a, that's great. Okay. Uh, any other questions? Okay. So thank you very much, Alessandro. Uh, thank you for the attention. Virtual clap to you also.